Hi guys and welcome back to another delicious episode of Shelly's Homemade and today guys we're going to be making some game time ribs baby yes game time ribs you know Super Bowl is just around the corner and we need those game time ribs and I'm going to show you how to make a, the most delicious rub for your game time ribs first you're going to need for the rub you're going to need some black pepper some season oil or you could use whatever um season salt you have I also have to have Morton seasonal so I have some onion powder granulated paprika you can use smoked if you like and some granulated garlic and some brown sugar all right so let's get started so I like to measure out when I do my rub because I like it to always taste I like it to taste and Hi. I'm gonna measure it out for you on camera. That way you get to see me do it. So I have I have a cup here, and we're gonna pack a half a cup of brown sugar right inside of there. Alright. I season salt. A little season all. This is a one tablespoon uh, measuring spoon. One. So we're going two slabs. So we're going to use two season salts. I have some black pepper here. One and a half the black pepper. Now you can add a full if you want it a little spicy. And you can add some cayenne pepper to this to make it spicy. But today we're not going for spice. Onion powder. One. Two. Paprika. One. Um, paprika really don't have that much flavor, so it's really for color. Garlic powder. And the good stuff. Let's granulate garlic, garlic powder. One. Two. Three. And that is it for our rub. Season this to the side. Grab spoon and just mix it. Mix it up and get it thoroughly mixed in, just like so. So these beautiful game time ribs, guys. Now. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees. That's what you want to do. You want to preheat that oven to 425 degrees. Now, I'm just smashing down some of these clumps of brown sugar because you know brown sugar tends to clump. And we want this mixed in thoroughly to our ribs. And this is enough for two. Look at that. Beautiful. And you know what we didn't do. No, I'm sorry guys. We didn't get the salt. So one tablespoon of salt. One and a half. One and a half. There we go. And we're going two ribs. And we'll season that up. Now all mixed in. Just like so. Almost forgot the salt. Mm. I've been bland ribs, guys. They've been tasting good, but bland. You can have to put your own salt on it. Alright. So now, we we'll clean this mess up and we're going to bring the ribs to the table. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to get rid of this membrane. Let me show you how. So you see, right up in here, 
in the middle. You want to start in the middle, right? Just like this. Give yourself some uh, space like this. Just dig your hand all the way in there and get to the middle, all the way down. Dig to the middle. Now take this hand, stick on you there, and just pull it. Comes right up. It comes right up, just like that every time. Every time. Alright. Now, with that spoon, and we're going to start in the back. And start blessing this with this kissable rose, guys. And if you make too much and it doesn't go in there, you can just pop it in the freezer. That's why I'm using the spoon instead of digging my hand in there. Just in case. And then you want to rub that beautiful rub in there. Rub it in. Rub it in. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Pat you some. Pat it on in there. Play the drums, baby. Play the drums all up in your ribs. Yes. Yes. Let's have some fun in this kitchen today with these game time reads. Game time reads. Oh, game time reads. Alright, I'm a little silly today. Alright, now you're gonna flip it over. Get that spoon again. Come again. Sprinkle it. Sprinkle it. Just sprinkle it. Sprinkle it. Oh, baby. Sprinkle it. Alright, I'm gonna rub it in. Now, if you wanted to, you could put some mustard on here. So you can hear it. But that's not necessary. Cause what you gonna do? You gonna press it in. You gonna beat the drums. You gonna press it in, just like so. Don't forget to get the sides. Take this stuff and then rub it all on the side of this baby, just like that. See what I'm doing here? Just rubbing it on the side. Even the bone gonna have flavor, baby. Look at that. So beautiful. And it wasn't even a whole lot of ingredients for this rub and what we're gonna do we're gonna wrap it just like this we're gonna wrap it fold it over Hold you some ribs, baby. Hold you some ribs, baby. Oh my god. Like so. Then we move on to the second one. Okay. So the same thing with like you did with the other one. Find the little um membrane. Sometimes one is hard the other to get in there. See? Cause this one's already starting to break. Hot. So now this one's gonna be a little harder. I'm gonna flip it. Ooh, where yet? Where yet? Go get me a little knife. find it. Well, scoop it up. Scoop it up. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Membrane ain't trying to come out. something guys this one that one come off don't be like me and struggle make sure you get a good one like 
I hit it the first time. going on with this thing. Oh. You coming out of here. This thing wanna be playing games with me. Uh -uh. So, when it gets stuck like that, the best thing to do is just score around the bone, loosen that bone when it's, um, when the butcher cut too close and you can't get the membrane off. So, just score it to each bone and that'll help. I'm just gonna do this guys. I'm just gonna do this. And because I can't get that membrane off. So I'm just scoring it. Just like so. Uh, I'm sorry guys. But you see now I took the other one off, so it's not an issue. But when the butcher cut it so close, you know, that you can't get it off. See I can't get it off. Not even peeling at it. It's not coming off. Alright. So, I scored it. Where to make it easier to eat. You know. And I scored the bone. And I scored it all across. I scored it down there with the bone. And to make it easier to eat. Still gonna be tasty and flavorful. Trust me. Sometimes you get a rib like this, and, and you know you try to show off because you know what you're doing because it works every time on the rib. Well, that's all right. Couldn't get in there. Butcher got me. The butcher got me, y'all. All right, so pack it in. You know, play your drums on it. Not the chains here. Alright. So now we're going to flip it. Same thing. And this is a nice big one too. We're gonna put the rest of this in a ziplock bag. This is good for chicken. Anything you wanna put this red bread on. You had a barbecue. And these game time ribs, baby. We're going to put this on a cookie sheet and get it into our 425 oven for like an hour and 40 minutes and then we're going to come back and we're going to take it out of the aluminum. We're going to open the aluminum foil up. We're not going to take it out. We're just going to open it up and let it get some color. All right. Now. So, get this into uh, 400 and 25 degree oven. Can't stress that. They're gonna look like this on your cookie sheet. Now we're gonna get them into the oven. All right. So these are just out of the oven. Burn my finger a little bit, trying to 
Ooh, and then look at the pool. Alright, they've been in for an hour 45. Now, we're going to put these in the oven so they can brown up. They look, they look amazing. They already started to brown. But I want to get that caramelized and all of that soaking. Alright, let me see. Bring y'all a little closer to see these ribs. Look at that. Alright, so I'm going to get these back in the oven. Let them brown up. Then we're going to glaze them with some barbecue sauce. You can use whatever kind of barbecue sauce you want. Whatever flavor. I'm going to use my favorite. Sweet Baby Ray's, baby. We're going to use some Sweet Baby Ray's. So we're going to get this back in the oven. Let this ground up. Cook some more. Until it's ready for the barbecue. So my ribs are out of the oven. Looks absolutely amazing. It got that color that I was talking to y'all about. That we're looking for. And we're going to come in. With this barbecue sauce. And we're going to put it back in the oven. Look at that. And you can use as much as, as you like. Barbecue sauce on those ribs. This is a recipe. For the ages now. You can tell all your friends and family members. Where you got this recipe from. Tell them you got this recipe for these. Game time ribs. From Shelly's Homemade. And go check that girl out because she be doing it in this kitchen. All right, look at that. I'm just going to smooth it down all over. Look at that. Oh my goodness. All right. So let's get these back in the oven. When we come back, we're going to cut these babies for game time. It is now time to eat game time ribs. Well, I'm going to take one from over here where I am. And they are so tender. So tender. I'm barely touching them. They just caught in the aluminum foil. Look at that. I'm gonna get a plate. I'm gonna get a plate. Mm -hmm.